What is going on, people? Today, we're going to go ahead and do some Coliseum. Uh, talk about the constellation that's going on right now before I migrate. The reason I'm going to do it before I migrate and not after is because the kingdom that I'm going to is very highly populated. Um, it, it's, it's probably one of the most populated kingdoms I've seen in a while. So it should be fun. Um, but if I do it there, I'm just going to run into a bunch of like guards and stuff so I'm, I might as well do it now um, this constellation this week is really not that um, game changing if you will it definitely boosts some heroes up but not nothing too crazy not nothing too crazy is going on but the bow wielding or maniacs is the requirements and you get dexterity plus 35 percent and magic defense plus 75 percent now the magic defense isn't really as impactful as it sounds because a lot of times the magic heroes that you would usually use are not really there for damage per se. Like take Petit Devil, Witch Doll. They're not really there for damage. I mean, it's good that they do decent damage as well. But they're mainly there for stuns and crowd control and stuff like that. So it's not really that impactful. But the Dexterity 35% uh, is a decent boost. Again, it's still not nothing crazy. But if you take a look at uh, Dexterity... Uh, you can see it here. Dexterity affects attack, defense, physical crit, and magic defense. And it also increases attack for dexterity heroes. So, so let's go ahead and see. Um, there, there's a couple of heroes that I want to highlight this week. Uh, for free to play, there is a couple. Uh, and that is Trickster, Black Crow, and um, Tracker. This is the holy trinity for free to play damage dealers this week. Uh, a very, very common team that I'm seeing used is Rose Knight along with this trio. And then the last one is kind of like your choice de depending on what you want to go with. A lot of people are using Death Archer. But honestly, I don't feel like Death Archer is a good fit this week. Um, she does get the boost, but her damage being uh, like over time instead of a burst, it uh, doesn't really jive well with it. If you have Lore Weaver, I would suggest you, you add Lore Weaver to this team. It would make it not only offensive, but it'll keep your Rose Knight alive, etc. So, uh, if you have Lore Weaver, use it. But if not, you can even play around with Death Knight because he can take the initial damage that you're going to most likely run into um, and then come back alive and keep doing his damage and tanking. So, something like this, if you're free to play, is going to be very, very useful this week. Um, or just something like this. I would highly recommend a very offensive driven team for free to plays um, this week. That way you can kind of offset the, the lower weavers and whatnot. But the one that I have on defense right now, this is the one that I kind of want to test out to see how it actually would work out. Um, I I don't really like lower weaver being kind of like in that second front line. And uh, if if Black Crow was actually opposite, and I had Grove Guardian next to Lore Weaver, I would feel a little bit better. But that this is why you gotta test it out. So let's take a look, Boogeyman. See, this is this is one of the reasons why I did not want to. But I, I'm gonna test it out regardless. Um, also, also, Chaos Dragon does get a boost this week. And I have tried him throughout the week, but honestly, he has been very underwhelming. Um, he's pretty much just like a better a better death archer in the way that you would use him. But he's still not that great. He's he's just he's been underwhelming. Underwhelming to say the least. Um, so let's go ahead and go with the team that I wanted to uh, to try out. Now the 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 idea here is that um, Black Crow should lower the defense of the uh, initial tank, which in this case is going to be Don Guapo. And then Grove Guardian should deal decent enough damage to actually take down the tank. Berserker is the choice here because Berserker does bring a buff to attack damage uh, as a passive, so that's really good. But I might play around with Don Guapo as well. But yeah, this, this team is basically surrounded around doing a lot of damage to the initial tank and then kind of having a free-for-all after but uh the demon slayer is the wild card here if that demon slayer takes takes out my lower weaver too fast we might be in trouble but uh no talking let's let's see how it all unfolds uh if we take out this dung guapo in a decent amount of time we may be okay 
There we go. He's got that defense down. Uh, uh, okay, the Dongwapo is dead. D way faster than I thought he would. Um, Demon Slayer dead. I get my heal, and this is GG. Okay, so honestly, that worked out way better than I thought. I don't know if... Don Guapo being gray really made that big of a difference because I know a, a gold grade he would have survived longer But he seemed to have died very fast there. So Maybe not uh, we'll, we'll see the next time I run into a Don Guapo I suppose but that was a good that was a good showing it also Grove Guardian switching over to the Don Guapo and then being able to kind of hit both the Don Guapo and the Demon Slayer at the same time was good. Okay, here we go. This is this is perfect. The only real change is my Berserker and then their Guapo and then the uh, the Tracker and the uh, Grove Guardian. Now Tracker is a little scary because that burst damage is kind of scary on my Berserker. But uh, let's see. Let's see if this Don Guapo lives a little better than the last one because I don't know it just, it just feels like he went down a little too quick I don't know but all right there goes the defense down there we go oh my god he really is just dropping he definitely lived longer though he is dead now though unfortunately Black Crow didn't get her defense down uh, on time to hit everyone else and then my tank is now dead oh both tanks are dead um Mine got her proc off though, which is probably going to change the whole... Yeah, that, that changed everything. Um, that was much closer than I thought, but again, Don Guapo did go down really fast. So, I'm really liking this team right now. Um, here we go, Petite Devil. So, people are still using Petite Devil even though you got magic defense plus 75%. And that's what, that's what I said. You don't really use Petite Devil for the damage, per se, even though she can do really good damage. You really use her for her stun. So, this is literally the same team, except you got Black Crow instead of the Petite Devil. So, here's where we're going to see just how effective Black Crow, the defense down, uh, is. Because I'm going to see how fast their Berserker goes down compared to mine. And if you don't know what I'm talking about as far as Black Crow and the defense down, she has a debuff. Let me show you right here. She has a debuff right here, Piercing Arrow. Um, deals physical damage and reduces defense by 420 by 5 seconds. So that's a massive, that's a massive debuff. Uh, so let's, let's go ahead and see just how fast their Berserker goes down compared to mine. It might not even be that big of a difference, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. So there's the defense down on their Berserker. Um, their Berserker is taking a licking, but then mine is so is mine, so, and then they get to proc first. So not 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 a great not a great thing. Um, their Berserker is dead though, so we're pretty much back to even. The difference here is going to be that that Petite Devil man. Oh, and then they get their proc off right here. They just. Their procs are literally like seconds out, out in front of mine always, which is a pain. Then they get that big stun. It's not looking too hot for me. That stun is just, it just stalls everything. Um, are we going to be able to take care of this uh, Rose Knight in time? It doesn't look like it. Ugh. They take care of my healer. Now, now... Uh, the Grove Guardian is is not going to be enough. That Petite Devil, the stun is insane. This is this is why I was saying the uh, the constellation isn't really that big of a deal uh, against the magic users that you usually would see because you don't really use them for damage. So having extra defense is not going to really do anything. Um, I am kind of curious though if was it fifty eight that I was going up against? Who was it? Hello? I hate when the game does this. Like, can I just can I just get like a rematch button? I hate when the game does this. Here we go. So I saw that the Berserker was almost very close to dying. So what if I use a more offensive one, like a trickster, right there? And um instead of Berserker, I'm gonna go more offensive. So like this. This right here. 
take out the berserker and then just go just straight offense if i take out that berserker fast their team might crumble so but i i have to make sure that my uh rose knight doesn't automatically die right away so let's let's see how this works let's see how this works a more offensive team which is what i think most people are, are gonna be compelled to use this week uh yeah that berserker is not dying as quick as i wanted them to die um okay but wait a minute if i get this heal off right here oh, just in time oh my god and then now now the main issue is going to be that petite devil oh that petite devil is dead oh perfect they get the heal off unfortunately but honestly that heal just in time was just what the doctor ordered holy crap yo a full offensive this offensive team right here is actually not too shabby uh hmm yeah i kind of like that a guard of course because a lot of people are migrating that kind of makes sense oh no i don't want to hit a guard there we go okay here we go okay this is this is literally the team that i suggested the free-to-play players use so this is this is perfect i'm gonna go ahead and use the same team that i was using at the start just to see how it stacks up versus that team if it's close and if it comes down to like a 50 50 type of thing then that means that that free-to-play team is actually not bad so let's let's give it a shot Let's see how both teams kind of operate because those these are both of the teams that I kind of was advocating for. Just on paper, they both look pretty decent. So let's let's take a look. Look at this. They lose Death Knight, but I'm about to lose my Berserker, and I don't get Berserker back. So yeah, see, Death Knight is back, and my Berserker is not going to be back. Um, so now it's just a matter of damage. Who can do more damage? Um, that tracker proc was very underwhelming to me. Maybe that, that was just me, but that was a very underwhelming tr uh, tracker proc. She's supposed to be doing a bunch of damage, and she didn't really do that. Um, okay, so, obviously the, the team with the pay to win heroes, the Grove Garden, etc. won that. But I feel like it was close, and honestly, the Death Knight didn't really do much. So I would say um, Trickster over Death Knight. So if you if you're going with a team this week, definitely go Trickster. Uh, th this is like the Holy Trinity, or I guess the Holy Four. These four are probably a mainstay this week for free to play uh, teams. And then after that, just kind of try to use the best hero that will counter whatever you're going up against. Um, so you can, you know, you can use her. If you need a little bit more defense, you can either use Snow Queen or just bring a healer yourself, you know? Um, but, uh, yeah. Now that we're done with Colosseum, let me go ahead and migrate. Uh, because we gotta migrate in, uh, fairly soon. And as to what kingdom, we are going to be going to Kingdom 740. And look at that, somebody left me a spot right here. Go ahead and migrate. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you... I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the uh, the Colosseum rankings are because it is actually not bad. Uh, let me move the guild. I hate having to pay for this. It's it's really so dumb. A thousand, Ugh. it's whatever. But let me show you the Colosseum now. Seventeen thousand. This is one of the most populated kingdoms I've been in in a while. In a while. Uh, and as far as the rankings, let me go ahead and show you all the rankings. Uh, we'll, we'll show you this first. So BSC is here. Um, HR is here. And, a slot, and SGX, LS. Um, so yeah, the rankings, there's a bunch of 2 billion might people. Uh, a bunch of big boys, really. And then let's take a look at the guilds that are here. So, WDG, BSE, PUV, SGX, we just moved in, so I think we might be ranked 3? Yeah, we're ranked 3. Uh, SGX, HR, NDR, and then a bunch of, like, in the middle guilds. You don't get under 20 billion until you get to the 48th. So, this kingdom seems to have quite a high population. 
And um, I can't wait. I can't wait to actually take a look at this. And uh, 18 hours is the wow. So that's actually tomorrow at a pretty good time. So not bad. Uh, not bad. Not bad. Uh, we migrate every two or three weeks. So we, we might we might stay here a little longer just because the population is pretty good. We might we might stay here a month or two. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, also there is a Facebook stream, or there should be a Facebook stream at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So if you want some free codes, swing by. Um, but yeah, appreciate you guys for watching, and until later, bye!